One thing you got to ask yourself if you're moving to the Quad Cities is Iowa versus Illinois. It's a big decision, and if you're choosing Iowa, well, we're gonna show you a hidden gem on the Iowa side that nobody talks about, but everybody wants to live here once they learn what it is. And that little hidden gem is LeClaire, Iowa. And we're gonna talk about why you might wanna consider moving to LeClaire. Now, LeClaire may be a hidden gem in the Quad Cities, but it doesn't mean it's not known. In fact, it's semi-famous, and the reason for it is because of a show called The American Pickers. They are on the Discovery Channel, and their shop is located right in here in LeClaire. And you can really feel that vibe when you get to downtown LeClaire. I mean, I'm downtown LeClaire. There's a Mississippi River boat. Just off to the right here is the quaint little downtown, and it's really a neat little town. And when I say little, I do mean still a little town. It's about 4,700 people, and that's changing, but it's still a small town just right outside of the Quad Cities. And that's why people really kind of find it appealing because it is not too far from the Quad Cities, but far enough that you still have your own space and you still get those small town vibes and a lot of people really, really enjoy that. And speaking of the small town vibes that you get, what is the school district? Well, the school district here in LeClaire is actually Pleasant Valley. Yeah, I think LeClaire, you'd think it's LeClaire, but it's actually Pleasant Valley, which is in Bettendorf, in Pleasant Valley, of course, and then LeClaire and some surrounding areas. And people really like that Pleasant Valley is the school district for LeClaire because I don't know if you knew this, but Pleasant Valley is the number one ranked school in all of Iowa, according to niche.com. And a lot of people really, really want to get their kids into this school. So it's a place that you get that small town, but you have a wonderful school to send your kids to. And the thing that is, you know, a little bit odd about it is you always have to drive your kids to the school because the middle school is out, brand newly built out in the country. And then the high school is in Bettendorf which is, I don't know, about 15 minute drive from LeClaire. But a lot of people really find it useful to be in LeClaire just to get into that school district. And they don't mind a little bit of a drive that you have to get your kids to those schools. And people really like LeClaire as well because of, like I talked about at the beginning, the quaint little downtown that it's got. It's got a historical feel. In fact, it is a old river town that is right on the Mississippi. Yes, that's a real boat behind me. And yes, I think they give it out. They give tours. So, you know, people really, really like that. But the downtown, it's got a bunch of little shops. I got breweries, wineries. There's even a little chocolate shop. So people really like that. They feel like they're living in a vacation spot because of the downtown LeClaire area. But not everybody wants to live in downtown LeClaire. So there is a lot of homes that are close to the river, but there are also a lot of homes that are away from the river. And that's the cool thing about LeClaire is you got the old historical downtown and the homes close to that downtown are historical. You got the architecture of the old river town. But as you move out, you have the brand new construction out there and people really, really like that duality of having a brand new build but being close enough to the downtown LeClaire area that they can still enjoy that vacation feel when you're walking the streets of downtown LeClaire. Now LeClaire may be small, but it doesn't mean it doesn't have all the amenities that you might want. They have a grocery store, they have a gas station, they have, well, okay, fine. They don't have everything that you might want, but the cool thing about LeClaire is that it's a super short drive into the big city of the Quad Cities where you have access to everything. And people like that. And it's an easy drive too, because you can either take I-80, go into Davenport, or you can take a river drive and have a scenic drive along the river to go into Bettendorf. And that is something that people really like because it's not a terrible drive. The traffic isn't too bad to get into the big city. And, uh, all your amenities are there. Not to say that LeClaire doesn't have some, but for all your big box stores, you're probably gonna wanna drive into the big city of the Quad Cities. Now, if you're moving to the Quad Cities and you're thinking, hey, I really like the idea of this small town called LeClaire, 
Well, I would love to help you pick out which neighborhood within LeClaire that you'd like to be because every little nook and cranny is a little bit different and you want to make sure that you find the perfect home when you're moving here. So my number is popping up down below. I am a licensed realtor working here in LeClaire. So I'd love to help you find that perfect home. Now, speaking of homes, I've already touched on the difference between the historical architecture and the newer homes. But as far as pricing goes, you're looking at a higher price point than the average in the Quad Cities, sitting at about 375 for last year. And uh, it's important to know that because if you're moving to LeClaire, you're gonna be paying to be here. And a lot of that is driven because of the school district, the ability to get into town very quickly, and the easy access to I-80. So wherever you wanted to go in the nation, you have easy access to get across there. So you are gonna be paying a little bit more to get into LeClaire. Now I will say on average, it's not as high as Bettendorf, but it's still higher on the spectrum when it comes to the Quad Cities. So just expect that if you're moving and you really want to be in LeClaire, that you're probably gonna pay a little bit more. Not to say that there isn't some more affordable options, but they're kind of few and far between, so you gotta be really diligent in trying to find those deals right in the city of LeClaire. Now, I've talked about this a little bit already, but the thing that I hear over and over about LeClaire is the community aspect that they have here. Yes, it's growing. In fact, it's one of the fastest growing cities, quote, towns in the Quad Cities, but you still have that small town community where you can do a lot of the things. You'll know your neighbor, you can borrow sugar from your neighbor, you know, you get that feel to it. And it is growing 4,800 people, but if you look back just a couple years ago, it wasn't nearly that many. So it's growing pretty quickly and we're seeing it expand out very fast. But that being said, you still get that small town vibe and I have a big appreciation for that because I grew up in a small town of about 1500 people and I can really appreciate that feel because you feel like everybody has your back and you really do when you live in a small town. So you get the big city aspects of being close but still that small town community. So a lot of people are really, really enjoying that aspect of it. And speaking of community, they have a lot of great events that happen kind of where I'm at right now, right on the riverfront. There's this thing called Tug Fest, and it's literally a tug of war contest between Leclerc and Port Byron, which is right behind this boat here, across the Mississippi. And uh, it's a lot of fun, but I will say it, very um, uh, tiring. I've done it I think three times now and I think you pull for 30 seconds is all but you're gonna be so exhausted that you can't hardly even walk afterwards after pulling for that long and to be honest a lot of the pulling is against the river not so much against the other side but a little bit so it's very exhausting, but that's just one aspect. They have things like Vets on the River, which is a fundraiser down right out in the Mississippi. I've been a part of that as well. It's really cool to see all the Corvettes that come from all over the nation to be at that event. So just little things like that really builds a community and you can really feel it when you're in Leclerc because everybody is supporting everybody else. Now, if you're moving to the Quad Cities and you're thinking, hey, Leclerc is the place I wanna be. Well, you're gonna wanna hit me up. My number is popping up down below. Give me a call, send me a text. I am the one to answer all those phone calls, emails, texts. And uh, if you just wanna see more of what Leclerc is all about, well, check out this video right here.